In part six of Langton's retreat, I'm laying out certain elements onto the layout just to see where they're going. This is where my level crossing will go. And the tunnel will go here between the two tunnel entrances. This is my sidings with the items around it. I think I might move that engine shed. And here are three buildings I'm going to put on the layout. Two under construction and a barn. This is the platform and bridge and station which has been in this position all of the time. I'm just test running the black five at the moment. Okay so now I start the tunnel. I had a little bit of fun and I'm using insulation board here and I'm peeling off the silver backing because it glues and paints much better without that on and I draw around it where I want it to go spread down some tough as nails or hard as nails or anything like that this is essentially a glue and it just glues the insulation board to the other insulation board Now I'm test fitting a three inch thick piece that's going to become my roof of the tunnel. Meanwhile, that's where I'm going to put the engine shed. Yep, yeah. oh, and I think I had some trees there. They're just laid out roughly for the minute. Oh, and my lake I'm marking out with some newspaper. I think that's where that will go. Okay, while that's been gluing, I now come back to the tunnel and I paint some black on this piece here. The reason is the top piece of insulation board I can now press down and get it marked. Little dots will show me where that tunnel is going to go and so I just join the dots up with a brush and now I can carve that out. So I use a sharp knife, be very careful of course with knives and I just cut it in little sections a bit like cutting a piece of cake really and just gently pop it out now it doesn't matter if it's quite a rough finish of course because this is the inside of a tunnel and once I've taken it out chunk by chunk I will just rough it up just give it a nice texture and now we carry on with this next time